Here are some spackles you're going to run into when you go to the store. I'm throwing joint compound into this scenario. I only use joint compound for very large patches. It's easy to use. You can put a large amount on at a time. It's easy to sand. It's a great product for larger patches. These are the four main ones you're probably going to run across when you go into the store. The first one is the one time. This is this lightweight spackle. It actually doesn't feel like there's anything in this, in this little can. Um, I'm not a fan of this at all. When you go to put the product on, it has a tendency to kind of roll out of the holes or the voids that you're trying to fill, especially if that void is very, very thin. It's also hard to sand. I'm not a fan of this product. And then there's Painter's Putty. And Painter's Putty, if you use it as a general purpose spackle, it's hard to sand. It's kind of hard to use. Um, I don't use it unless I have, say, a void in a handrail or something. Something that's going to get touched a lot and used a lot because it will hold up better than the product that I'm going to recommend for your general purpose stuff. So I don't use this unless it's a really high traffic area. Window sills where the kids are grabbing it all the time or handrails, that's about it. This is the next one, the Syncloid Spackling Paste. You're probably going to run into this. Uh, it's a little more pliable than the Painter's Putty and just a little bit easier to sand than the Painter's Putty, but I'm not a fan of it. It's a little too gritty and it's a little too too hard to sand and work with. My favorite by far is a vinyl spackling paste. It, it goes on smoothly, it sands easily, it primes really well. It's a great product to work with and most of the stores that you're going to run into are going to have at least some kind of vinyl spackling paste. Now I'm a big fan of the Crawfords here. I think this is a fabulous product. It's easy to work with, it sands nicely, it's easy to use. So I use this for about 99% of my work. Right? Sometimes I'll use the joint compound and then every once in a while I'll need something a little bit harder and I'll use the painter's putty. Okay.